Okay, so this is the beginning of my bottle wall. I'm getting ready. I'm going to be making it in between these two columns here. Um, it'll be like a bar top uh, patio. So I have my mortar mix here and my bottle blocks. I have them separated into colors, different colors that I have accumulated. And what I did on the bottles is I cut two wine bottles, uh, both four inches, and I taped them um, with duct tape. Some I got like glasses that were prettier um, at um, like Goodwill or something. And if you can see, it's kind of a cloudy day, but you can do half and half with clear and different colors and mix it. and it'll be kind of cool and I got a bunch of these clear glasses and I thought oh man if I could make some cooler colors so I got some transparencies and wadded them up and put them in there so it looks kind of like a kaleidoscope so I'm excited I got purples and reds and yellows um, so uh, it should be pretty interesting to see what it looks like so I'm going to start mixing my mortar and get going Okay, so, okay, watch out, Stewie. We're gonna be ready for our first, our first row. I've got my mortar mix kind of dry so we can, com I, I can compact it. Um, I don't want it to take too long to uh, dry. What do you think? We ready to get going, Stewie? Huh? I think so. I'm excited. Okay, this is what it looks like after the first bag of mortar. It is a lot of work. And um, you can see here, I put in some screws for uh, the next layer. I'm starting to smooth it out with water and a sponge. Oops. Um, and so, let me get the back side. I gotta clean this side up. I wiped the other ones with uh, a sponge to get all the all the uh, remnants off of it, and I gotta smooth this side out. So, making progress, but slow. Okay, this is a full days, and I do mean a full days of work. Um, pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm trying to get it down here you can see the sun setting and there's some beautiful colors in there I'm crazy crazy about it um, so some lessons I learned I like mixing the smaller batches at the end at the end um, I had to smooth out all the concrete with the uh, with a sponge and clean everything off pretty well and dry it because once it dried you're not going to get that stuff off so i got some awesome colors okay so this is my next weekend i finally finished i bought a wall and i made it nice and level on top so i'm going to be doing a concrete countertop on this. I love the way it turned out. I've gotten much more efficient uh, with my timing. You can see I've done like this much today to finish it out. But the colors keep changing as the sun moves and I'm really crazy happy about it. So on both sides looks pretty good. This side's not quite as clean and I don't really care about that because um, the sunlight's coming out on the other one. So this one, um, this side is the one that I care about. So I will show you, uh, I got a lot better at smoothing out the concrete around it. Uh, as I went, learned a lot of tricks. Uh, the, uh, beginning of my video, I had the, the grout really dry and, um, uh, I changed that. I, it's much more wet than it was in the beginning. So, um, I'll show you when my countertop's done. Okay, so I'm making a, a template for um, the shelf. 
And over here, I want it about four inches hanging towards where we see it from and just wrapping around the two different pipes, so, or the posts that hold up on the side. So I made this, and from that, I made a, I don't know, I guess a form, and out of the melamine, cut all the different angles, and um, here I put in a bunch of different rings of glass. It started doing that so you have to work pretty fast with it also I used one of this flow control so once it gets like peanut butter uh, consistency you add this and it gets much more liquid but it doesn't last long you can see my troweling isn't that great I hope my level stayed overnight because I screwed it up last night and uh, started today so we'll see Okay, so an hour's passed and we just flipped it. You can kind of see the circles where I move the, the rings around that I have to grind down to. I'm pretty excited about this. It is super smooth already and I haven't sanded down into the glass yet. However, dun, 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 dun. It broke the little ends that I wanted to go off. This this one did, and I'm like, well, I could glue it, I could support it with another piece, but then we looked at this side, and there was a little hairline crack, and uh, I put a ring right towards the end, so it actually might look kind of cool when I grind it down into the, the, the glass. So excited super smooth and it's kind of neat because i moved the rings around when it was hardening so fast and it kind of had like a shadow effect i i dig the the look right now so tomorrow i get to sand so this is a couple days later because of work i didn't have the time to start grinding the grinding uh, i think the concrete has gotten harder since it's been sitting. Huh, Stewie? Hey, has it gotten harder? I think so. So I started out with sandpaper and that wasn't cutting it. So I went down to a uh, 35 grit grinding wheel on this four inch. And this is a couple of hours of grinding. And so I have to be sure this just gets down through the concrete. I guess when the concrete was poured, it didn't, it lifted away, kind of floated. So I'm having to get down into the concrete. It's probably a 16th of an inch, but it is super, super hard. When I get it wet, you can see the rings, whereas before you could see the shadows. Now I can't, so I'm trying to keep it as level as possible on the 35 grit, and then I'll go down to the sanding wheel that I just really wore down it wasn't quite cutting it. So uh, just a update, I got it wet. I am spraying it with a little water bottle as I go. I just hosed it down because the, the uh, fine sand that you grind away kind of turns into a slurry and um, covers up the rings. So I just wanted to see what it looked like. Anyways, that's it for now. Here is after probably another hour and a half. <laughs> of grinding. The 35 grit is really taking the top layer off, but it's, it's slow going, but it's starting to look pretty cool. Get a little closer. So after I finished that, 
Uh, since it's pretty rough, I'm going to have to uh, go with lighter grits to kind of even it out and make it smooth. So I've been grinding and now I'm sanding. Uh, I went from uh, 35 sandpaper to, I don't know, I forget, a couple other ones. Now I'm down to 120 and it's really smooth. However, there are still some uneven edges where I had to grind down and to get to the glass. So you can see where I've sanded with the, with the 120, it seems to be darker. So I'm getting finer and finer grit. Um, but I think I'm going to have to fill it in with maybe an epoxy or something. You can see it's going to be kind of cool. Um, but just to get that fill in the, the low spots. And some of these have the glass. There's some rough edges. I don't know if you could see it, even though I'm sanding. So it's smooth to the touch, but I think it might give it more of a wet look, more brilliant, and show the colored rings that I have in there a little bit better. I've seen the sun kind of hit uh, and look translucent in, in some of them as it's going uh, at a different angle. So keep plugging away. So I've been grinding for days. <laughs> Started out using these um, grinders for metal and I've gone through a bunch of them. You can see that. Then I went down uh, to 50 sanding and there were a lot of um, grooves into it. I did move then into a sander. You can see it's here and I started out with, you know, a small t a grit, um, moved up down to, I think a 120. Then I tried these sander things that I got. They're diamond plated, got them on Amazon. First one went flying because it attaches with Velcro. And man, those suckers hurt. I got a welt on my leg because one flew out there. And I realized that when you start it, it has to be face down because it has such centrifugal force. But those suckers work like nobody's business, man. Um, you can see I'm now on, I think, 400. Well, okay, maybe you can't see. But this is almost feeling like granite. And there's still very slight grooves. Don't mind my manicure or lack thereof, but it is looking great. So it goes down to finer and finer grit, um, and it's looking awesome. Uh, I think this is gonna be like marble when I'm finished. So update coming, and then I'm gonna have to seal it. Yay. Okay, so I'm finished with the grinding and the sanding. You could see it's like glass on top, super, super smooth. Um, It made it kind of rustic looking, uh, some dark spots, which almost looks antique -y, and I kind of like. So all I have to do is mount it and uh, uh, seal it. So the sealant might bring out a little bit more color, but you can see as the sun hits it, you can see through some of the glass. It turned out great. Da -da -da -da! This is the final wall. I just glued it down. I haven't sealed it or caulked it, but here is the, you can see the, how smooth it is. Uh, flipping, loving it. Um, you can see the lights coming through. I'll come around the other side and show you what happened. See, I had, I was gonna have it come over here on the other side and it broke off, but it still looks pretty flipping cool. Uh, I have this exposed glass here. Got to buff that up a little bit. But pretty darn cool. Hap, hap, happy with it. Looks amazing.